Hey guys, I'd like to proudly present to you the all new 2016 Range Rover Evoque in Santorini Black. For 2016, the Evoque front face took a slight change with more thoughtful touches, which include a slight different bumper design and the adaptive full LED headlamps that combines the distinctive design with high capabilities. The Evoque has been famously known for its award winning distinctive design. From the rising belt line, muscular shoulder, to the tapered roof give the Evoque a capable and athletic appearance. It is really capable in any weather conditions. With the adaptive driving system tunes, the Range Rover Evoque tackles all terrain and weather conditions with confidence to deliver a more dynamic experience. For off-road experience, you can choose from the different driving modes which includes grass, gravel, snow, mud, and ruts or sand and terrain response. The 2016 Evoque still has the extremely tough construction seen in the previous year models with extensive use of advanced high strength steels including the front and rear subframes. The outer body panels are beautified with double side zinc coated steel, aluminum roof panels and hood, and magnesium cross beams. Hey guys, it's Happy Rider here. Today we have the all new 2017 BMW 7 Series 750i. The color we're looking at is known as Black Sapphire Metallic. And as you may already know, last year BMW came out with a completely new and redesigned 7 Series, which is the same one we're looking at here. However, this is the 2017 year model. Right away, you'll notice the redesign on the side, which look like a hockey stick there. And as you move around, it is totally and completely redesigned interior and exterior. And when it comes to the inside, the BMW 7 Series is the first vehicle ever with the uh, BMW series to have a fully touch screen and in addition to that it also have the newly adopted uh, gesture control in which you can just simply use your fingers to control the audio volume turn the uh, audio on or off and it is a pretty pretty excited and uh, cool feature to have here's the key pop of the core on there we have the lock unlock trunk release and the panning button in red along with the light control Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start it up, and let you listen to the exhaust note. Now as you can see, side view mirror is currently closed. Immediately after you open the door, put your hand behind the hand to unlock it. When you do so, side view mirror automatically unfolds. And touch right there to lock it. When you do so, side view mirror automatically folds. Here's a quick view of the interior. Very spacious. Back seat. To start the engine, all you have to do is push your foot on the brake, just like so, and press the start button located on the center dash. To open the front hood, there's going to be a lever located down here on the driver's side. Simply pull this out. And in order to open the hood fully, there's going to be another lever located in the center. Lift that up and raise the hood. The 2016 Evoque comes with a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged engine that pushes out 240 horsepower and 250 pound foot of torque. It is a 9 speed automatic transmission with command shift and it is a permanent 4 wheel drive vehicle. These features enable the Evoque to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 7.1 seconds. As for fuel economy, the 2016 Range Rover Evoque gets 21 miles per gallon in the city, 30 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 24 miles per gallon. Gas mileage will vary depending on which driving mode the vehicle is in. To further enhance gas mileage, the Evoque also features the intelligent stop and start system, 
When activated, the intelligent start and stop system will shut off the engine when the vehicle comes to a complete stop, such as red lights or other idle situations. And immediately after you lift your foot off the brake, the engine will automatically restart. And of course, this feature can be turned off at any time. So here's the key fob to the car. On there, we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button. You can also press the button uh, on the uh, side here to release the manual key. And you can also get the extra additional key fob with all the touchscreen for additional money, of course. Now, the 7 Series, of course, come with the uh, Smart Keyless Access Entry, so all you have to do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse. To unlock, simply put your hand behind the handle. And to lock, simply touch right there. Here's a quick view of the interior. To start the engine, simply push your foot down the brake. And press the engine start button right here. With the 7 Series 740i, it features the 3.0-liter twin-power turbo 6-cylinder engine with variable valve control and high-precision direct injection. Now, this engine pushes out 320 horsepower and 330 pound-foot of torque, and it is an 8-speed sport automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode with steering wheel mounted power shifter and launch control. Now, the 750i does feature the bigger engine. The model here, which is the 2017 740i, can hit from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.4 seconds, which is not bad. That's one second slower compared to the 750i, and its top speed is 130 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, it gets 21 miles per gallon in the city, 29 miles per gallon on the highway, and 24 miles per gallon combined. Now gas mileage will really varies and differs depending on how you drive the vehicle and which driving mode you're in. Up front, there's the rain sensing power intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. For enhanced visibility and as part of the driver assist plus package, there's the front fog light along with the full adaptive LED headlights with LED signature, auto leveling and cornering lights. Parking assists are also built into the front bumper to notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any object. Lastly, there's the Range Rover aluminum grille with the Land Rover logo on the right hand side. Very unique and different. Overall, the Evoke front face is very athletic and attractive. Moving over to the side. There's the body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light, power adjustable feature including power folding, heated function, and auto dimming with blind spot monitoring assist feature. Here's a quick look at the underside. Evoke side fender. This specific model comes with 20 inch 5 split spoke sparkle finish alloy wheels. Behind the wheels, there's the anti lock braking system, cornering brake control dynamic stability control, and electronic brake force distribution. Lastly, all four wheels are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, there's the LED brake light in the center of the rear spoiler on top. Moving down, we have the LED tail lamp with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. LED technology offers much quicker illumination, thus giving the driver behind you more time to react. Parking assist and a rear view camera are also built into the rear to help drivers in backing out and parking. 
Further down, there's the rear diffuser and the dual exhaust pipe. As for the gas tank, just make sure the vehicle is unlocked. To open, simply push in. The new Evoke can hold up to 27.7 gallon of gas and it is recommended by Land Rover to use premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's go ahead and open the trunk and see what's inside. As you notice, there's all the vehicle trunk mat. Over here, we have a 12 volt outlet core charger. And here's your fuse box. Trunk lighting over here. And if we lift this up, we have your spare tire. There's all the hooks on each side here. And on top, you can either close the tailgate manually or use the power function by pressing this button right here. Complete view of the top of the Evoque. The Evoque does come with a full panorama roof view. Looks very cool and nice when inside. Up front you have the automatic intermittent rain sensing windshield wiper with adjustable speed along with the shadow line exterior trim on top. In the center we have the uh, iconic BMW double kidney grill with black trim. Looks extremely aggressive and nice. Here's the front view camera as part of the driver assisted plus package. The BMW icon LED headlights give the 7 series its unmistakable appearance with the new three-dimensional semi-headlight rings to the LED fog light, LED daytime running lights, and automatic high beam and cornering light. The new 7 series phase is really unique. Here's a quicker view here. Looks extremely aggressive as you can see even without the competition package. Quick look at the fog light there. Moving over to the side, we have the uh, corner reflector light. Body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light, power adjustable feature including power folding, auto dimming, and heated function. And again, as part of the driver assisted package, there's also a camera below both side view mirror, which gives you complete 360 degree views of your surrounding. This specific model features the standard 19 inch light alloy wheels with run flat tires. Run flat tires allow you to travel up to an additional 100 miles after a tire uh, puncture. Behind the wheels we have the 4 wheel ventilated disc brakes with anti-lock braking system, composite front rotor dynamic stability control, brake fake compensation, brake drying, and brake standby with dynamic traction control. And the side stripe design is really unique and overall is a very nice design. Moving to the back, we have the middle LED brake light located behind the rear windshield. The rear is also equipped with a rear view camera that automatically turns on when you put the car into reverse. Parking assist is also built into the rear bumper. On both sides are the newly redesigned and eye-catching LED tail lamps with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. Again, very nicely designed. Here's a quick look at the camera. At the bottom, there's the attractive rear diffuser and the chrome exhaust tip. And you also have the 740i batch there. As for the gas tank, just make sure the core is unlocked. To open, simply push in. And of course, you have to use premium unleaded gasoline. Here's a complete view of the top. This one does feature the uh, tilt and slide sunroof. And it does extend all the way back to the rear seat which looks really nice when inside. Here it is with the tilt function on.
and here it is fully open and as you can see as it slides open it raises upward similar to the Mercedes Benz however the Mercedes Benz hugs the body much more than the BMW here so it just come to a personal preference as to what you like now let's see what we have inside the trunk it's a 7 series so there's plenty of space in the trunk you can also use the uh, wireless function by standing about a foot away from the trunk and wave your foot below the core and it will automatically open there's the emergency trunk release first aid kit on this side user manual there's a hook same goes on that side and let's see what we have down here there we have your battery trunk lighting and that's just a tag showing you the uh, wireless trunk hand free open option and that's where you put your emergency triangle you can also lock the car door for back here by pressing that button and this is to close the trunk and we're back in the driver's seat here we have the multi-spoke leather wrapped steering wheel feels and looks very comfortable over here we have the audio volume control bluetooth phone answering option and the voice command range rover revoke in the middle with the horn over here we have the different controls that will allow you to control everything that's going to be displayed here on the digital instrument This Evoke does come with the head up display. Here we have your cruise control. Standard gear shift paddle, one on the right and another on the left. Front and rear windshield wiper control. Left and right turn signal along with the headlamps control. The button on the end here is used to control the uh, different control on the front also. Moving down, we have the heated steering wheel function there. We also have a lever way below here if you pull it down. This will allow you to control the steering wheel placement. And to lock it back into place, simply push it back up. Driver air vent. Here we have the trunk release button along with the interior lighting dimming. Moving over here we have two additional air vent on top and the engine start and stop button over there. Here's your touch screen navigation display system. Pretty sensitive. different control over here settings parking assist camera view there's the rear view and over here we have the different audio modes here's your audio control that's where you insert your CD volume control over here and press down to turn it on or off hazard light control and right below that we have the complete dual AC heat climate control Simply twist the knob to control the temperature. Power parking brake. Hill descent control. Auto start and stop feature. Traction control. And here is your gear shift box. Push your foot down the brake. Twist it over to R. When you do so, the side view mirror will automatically tilt down, give you a better view of the rear. Also, rear view camera automatically display here with guided line, which turns according to the movement of the steering wheel very nice safety feature N for neutral D for drive and to put into sport you must push down then continue S is for sport very nice let's see when you turn the engine off as you can see the gear shift automatically lower and when you turn the engine on it automatically raises right below that we have the different driving control mode two cup holders 
another car charge outlet here. And you can cover the whole thing, looks very nice also. Middle armrest compartment. Inside you have another 12 volt car charge outlet. And your USB and auxiliary input are also right next to it. Glove box compartment. Here's a complete view of the dash. And here's the uh, head up display. Very clear and sharp. Moving on up, we have your rear view mirror with the built in universal garage door opener control. On top, we have the different lighting control. On both sides are the uh, roadside assistant control, as you can see there in red. Here's a spot for you to put your glasses. And the roof cover control there. Looks extremely nice from inside, especially at night. Here's another different angle view. Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. Memory setting for the driver's seat. Door lock and unlock button. Four power window control. Window lock button at the bottom and side view mirror control on top. Feels very nice. Side storage compartment. There's your speaker. Three total on the door. Range Rover door sealed. Brake and gas pedal. And the hood release lever switch again. Power front seat control. Here's a closer look at the driver's seat. White stitching also looks very nice. Very smooth seat belt. Also adjustable. And the lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors. Here's a quick view of the back seat. On the door, we have power window control, side door storage compartment. Again, I am five foot seven, so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you will have. I feel fine back here. Complete view of the front for sitting in the back. Both rear seats are also heated to additional air vent with additional storage space down there and back seat storage net. And here we have two additional cup holders for the rear. The Evoke also come with the latch system for you to safely secure down your baby seats. Here's the different lighting control on top. Also have a hook there. Both front seat headrests can be controlled. And if you need more space, you can press this down to fold down the rear seat. It is a 40-60 split. So you can fold the whole entire row down for more storage. Let's 
Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. Now I forgot to mention, it does feature the soft closing door feature. Lock and unlock button, four power window control. We also have the power sunshade cover control, side view mirror control, side door compartment. Here we have two memory settings for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. There's your trunk release switch. BMW door sealed with light. Braking gas pedal. Hood release lever, simply pull out twice to open. And power front seat control with lumbar support. Here's a closer look at the driver's seat. Seat belt height is not adjustable. The lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors. Now as you can see there's no screen or tablet in the back that does require additional packages. Same style design as the front door. Cigarette ashtray. Power window control, power sunshade cover control. As you can see there, you can show the rear sunshade cover or the side sunshade cover. Also the top. Looks really nice when both of the top are open. Side door compartment, BMW door sealed. Now again, I am 5'7", weighing about 150 pounds, so this will give you a better idea how much leg space you have. I have plenty of leg space, feel very comfortable. Here's a quick look of the luxurious front. Two additional air vents in the rear with full climate control. Storage compartment there. And here we have two additional 12 volt core charge outlet. Middle portion is raised and split. Back seat storage. In the middle, we have additional uh, storage compartment and two cup holders on the end here. Plenty of storage space back here. The back seat does have the latch system for you to safely secure down your baby seat if you need to. On top, we have uh, two huge mirrors, one on each side with light. This really comes in handy when you uh, have female uh, passengers in the back. They can use this for makeup. Hand bar with a spot for you to hang your clothes. Lighted control. Forgot to show you the side door lighting here. Looks extremely, extremely luxurious as you can see. And the same goes on the other side. And here we are back in the driver's seat. We have the three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. Looks and feels extremely luxurious. Over here we have your different cruise control. BMW logo in the middle with the horn. Voice command, Bluetooth phone answering option and audio modes control. Gear shift paddle on each side. Windshield wiper control. Headlamps control. Telescopic steering wheel control, driver air vent, headlamps control, storage compartment, driver sun visor with a clip on the side for paper or credit cord. You can also move the entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage. Handball on top. Very nice. Moving over to the middle, we have the fully and first ever touchscreen display navigation system ever made in a BMW. And it is extremely touch sensitive. As you can see demonstrated here. You can also zoom in and out on the map by using two finger like the pinch, just like the iPhone. 
the vent with the hazard light control in the middle wood dashboard engine start stop button and the automatic start function there now the temperature control right here are touch sensitive so you kind of just have to glide your fingers across and it will change temperature that's where you insert your CD audio volume control press down to turn it off or mute now with the gesture control here you can just point the two finger and twirl your finger like this to control the volume up or down or point two finger again to uh, turn the gesture control off and as you can see it is pretty accurate temperature display control again it is touch screen here you have two cup holders in between then it's the uh, 12 volt core charge outlet USB input a removable ashtray And as for the HF box, push the button on the side, move up for reverse. When you do so, the complete 360 degree views of the car is shown here with guided lines in the rear, which also move according to the movement of the steering wheel. Side view mirror will also tilt down, giving you better view of the rear. D for drive, push over to left for manual mode, and then push up or down to change gears, or use the gear shift paddles. P for park. On the left, we have your traction control, different driving modes, sport, comfort, eco, and you'll notice each different driving mode, you'll have a different display here. Next, we have your parking assist control, camera view control, and your suspension control, power parking brake, BMW I control, multi direction no, and simply press down to select different uh, display setting here here's the map view main menu radio view and telephone there middle armrest compartment and there you have a USB input along with a 12 volt core charge outlet I also have a slot to hold your phone there glove box compartment plenty of room now for a complete view of the dash head up display is a standard on top we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the universal garage door opener you can simply use these button after inputting the coast to open and close your garage doors. 7 series style lighting. It's blinking due to my camera. Reality does not blink at all and looks very nice and luxurious. Looks really nice when you open both the front and the rear. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching and as always, if you have any questions or requests for core reviews, go ahead and leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more future core reviews. And remember to check out my official Facebook page, my vlog channel. And thanks again, I'll see everyone in the next video review.